guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with August favourites. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. I wore so much polish in August, at like at least one a day. I swatched a couple of days and I wore one a day every other day. I went a little bit crazy. I kind of just got into this rhythm of wear, remove, wear, remove, wear, remove. And before I knew it, I was looking at this box like oh my gosh I have so many polishes to talk about I also have some other stuff at the end of the video so stay tuned for that at the end um, but yeah let's get into these polishes I would also preface that this is a very indie polish month I have three mainstreams and the rest of them are indies so let's do these three um, mainstreams first the first one is in the OPI infinite shine formula and this is Cajun shrimp so when the first they first released Infinite Shine, they took some of their classic colours and released them like Bubble Bath and Lincoln, pa Lincoln Park After Dark and also Cajun Shrimp. Um, so the formula and colour are going to be exactly the same as with the normal Cajun Shrimp but I do say that these dry down naturally shiny and without a top coat. So two coats to get completely opaque, this is just a really nice almost neon bright red um, Cajun Shrimp by OPI. The other OPI is Yank My Doodle, which came in the um, Washington DC collection. This is one of the ones that is on sale at the moment in Sally's, so check out Sally's if you have one near to you because these were literally on sale like a week ago when I went there. Um, this is a really nice terracotta brown colour. Now, my previous experiences with this sort of shade were China Glaze Mahogany Magic, which to me just looked like baby poop. And I think that's because that one was more yellow toned and orange toned, whereas this is, I know, maybe more red, more brown. So it just works. I really, really enjoyed this, and a lot of people wear this with a matte top coat because it looks so just like weird and different. Um, I didn't try that, I just wore it shiny. So this is two coats of Yank My Doodle. Austin is also in with me today and if you watch any of the videos with like this outfit on you will know that he's watching Toy Story for the next half an hour while I've been filming. The other mainstream polish is Orly's um, Scenic Fruit and this is a beautiful bright fuchsia purple colour. Um, I actually don't think I have anything like this in my collection and I don't know why. I think it's because other than that sure bright but that sure bright is slightly darker and dries matte. This is just a beautiful bright purple, perfect for the summertime, um, just a great formula with two easy coats. So Scenic Root by Orly. Now we move on to the millions of indies. I got round to wearing the last um, Jindy Dollish Polish duo that I had to wear. If you've seen them, these, these used to appear once a month for a while, where Jindy Nails and Dollish Polish used to do these like famous partners duos. They haven't done these in probably like three or four years, but I was on a quest to pick them all up, and I do have them all. This last one is Bonnie and Clyde. Um, Bonnie is done by Dollish Polish, and it's kind of like this muted milky latte colour with a strong um, silver and gold shimmer. It's like micro flakies in it which kind of just make it look this like this shimmery like taupey colour. Um, it's really nice but where it's lighter it takes three coats. So you'll see three coats of Bonnie. Then Bonnie's partner is of course Clyde which is made by Jindy and this is really nice where it's like the light and the dark balance. This is a black jelly base with a ton of coppery um, flakies in here which I loved the mix of so much. Again, with black jelly bases, I always find they are sheerer. So this is also going to take you three coats to get completely opaque. So we have Bonnie and Clyde. This one is Clyde by Jindy Nails. And of course, all indie sellers will be linked down below for you. We'll stay with Dollish Polish and we'll do another one. This one you would have also seen if you watched my first part of my Harry Potter video. And if I just say thank you to everybody that watched that, I had a really, really great response to it and I enjoyed it so much. And I'm really excited because I have a load of polishes that are going to be arriving so I can do part two. But this one is the Snape one, which is after all this time always, which is stunning. If you were just going to swatch there, so I'm just literally going to quickly pop up one here. But it's a black jelly base with a ton of micro green and gunmetal um, glitters in here. Three coats to get completely opaque. Um, this one is, after all this time, always by Dollish Polish. I have two from Super Chic Lacquer in the original bottle shapes that are just amazing. The first one is called Happenstance and it is a Barbie light pink with a very nice strong silver shimmer. 
it does almost look a little bit frosty though where the shimmer is so strong so i wasn't a hundred percent fan of it i was like 80 percent of a fan of it because in certain lights i was like mm, this just looks a little bit frosty um took two coats to get opaque which is really nice for a light pink just wasn't a hundred percent on the finish so two coats of happenstance by super chick lacquer The other one is called Baker's Hungry for a Bun in the Oven, and this is almost indescribable. I'm, I, I don't even know how to describe this. I want to say it's like a bluey purple base with a very strong goldy orangey flash. There's also kind of like greeny element, maybe a duochrome element, and there's also like a holographic element to it. It is amazing i love unique mixes if i can't explain it that means it's amazing this took three coats to get completely opaque it was more sheer than i wanted it to be and i did wear another one from this collection and that was also pretty sheer but the overall finish in three coats was beautiful and also perfect for this time of year so if you have these or you and i suggest you get in the back out again for autumn or if you don't have them see if you can grab some in d stashes because they're beautiful so this is uh, baker's hungry for a bun in the oven by super chick lacquer i think all the others are just ones from each brand but i will talk about the two polish con exclusives that i had left to wear the first one is from um colors by la and this one is called a part of the big apple and it was the polish con exclusive for polish con new york I, the reason i wanted to get wearing of these is because i'm aware that polish con chicago is happening very soon and people will then be moving on to the polish con exclusives from chicago and um, so this one is just a nice bright um red color with a strong silver shimmer in here it's just beautiful i've come to expect only from owning three colors by la row they just have beautiful formulas um so no complaints beautiful i really need to pick up some more from this brand so a part of the big apple by colors by la row The other Polish Con exclusive was called Grand Prospect Hollow and I did wear this in the filming of my SE um, collection video and a lot of people commented saying they loved what was on this. So it's basically like a purple, mainly a purple base which is a complete duochrome but the main thing you're going to see is purple but it does shift kind of all the way to like gold, green and orange and then there is a ton of holographic flakies in here. This is stunning, it's not going to be like... Anyone that's like a non now polish addict might look at this and go, this is just a bit weird and a bit strange. But to me, this is stunning. Just the flakies and the multi-chrome, it was everything. So completely opaque in two, Grand Prospect Hollow, not Hotel, from um, KB Shimmer. A brand that doesn't exist anymore, so I'm trying to also get through these for that reason. And this is Frenzy Polish, and this is Heavy Metal Broke My Heart, which came out in the Fallout Foxes collection. This is just a... a you possibly could get this opaque by itself, but I just wore this as a topper. And it's just the most dense, multi-chrome, flaky topper ever. Um, and this is one of the ones that I've... is different to me because it's like flaky space, all the range of flakies. A couple of ones that I have are more like duochrome flaky, so you'll get ones that just shift from green to purple, and then you have ones that will just do like, um, what's the other one I've got, like a yellow to a, like a red. This is actually like every colour range, all of them all shoved into one bottle. I wore one coat of this over Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow by OPI. I just thought the overall look was beautiful, just the contrast. Um, a lot of brands do flaky toppers, but like I say, this is just a bit more unique to me. Sorry, you can't get it. So this is um, Heavy Metal Broke My Heart by Frenzy Polish. I told you I wore a lot of polishes. We've still got like five to go. The next one is by Pretty Serious, and this one is called Cuddle Bunny. This is a lovely grey-toned lilac purple colour with a very strong silver shimmer in there. The silver shimmer is completely apparent on your nails. This did remind me of Happenstance by Super Chick Lacquer where they were like light with a really strong silver shimmer. Um, I did like it. I like this one more than Happenstance but like I say it just made them look a little bit frosty which I wasn't sure how much I liked. Um, but yeah, A Baking Two Cuddle Bunny by Pretty Serious. Another one that you would have seen in my Harry Potter video was Forks the Phoenix by Sparkly Polish. Um, this is a beautiful bronze colour with a very strong like gold lip from within aspect to it. Completely opaque in two and just stunning. I love bronze polishes so I was kind of sold at this before I'd even worn it. This is two coats of Forks the Phoenix by Sparkly Polish. 
one from Hair Polish, which also doesn't exist anymore. This is called Rococo Grandeur, and I was after this one for the longest time because it's like a milky blue base with a ton of pink glitters in it. And I just think the mixture of pink and blue is very interesting. It also has a few gold micro glitters in there as well, but mainly it's just these large matte pink glitters. I love this one. I'm so gutted that Hair Polish doesn't exist anymore because it is was and is one of my favourite indie brands. Um, but yeah, two coats of Rococo Grandeur by Hair Polish. Now I'm going to come out there and say this. This is going to be in my favourite polishes of the year for 2017. This is Spaced Out by Glitter Days. This is phenomenal. I love this one, it is two easy coats and it is one of these multi-chromes but it mainly just like stays in the blue to purple spectrum when you get it on your nails. I couldn't stop staring at my nails, it was just, just everything. Um, so I take into Spaced Out by Glitter Days. I wore another one of the Glisten and Glow um, cocktail hollows and this one is Hawaiian blue. I have a feeling that this one may have also changed colours. I probably should have looked at these original swatches because the purple one that I have is considerably more silver and hollow than I know when it originally started. Because this one is like an icy blue. And I think the Hawaiian blue drink is slightly more of a brighter blue colour. Um, nevertheless, it was a nice blue hollow. I'm never going to complain about a blue hollow or any blue polish for that matter. Um, so it got completely opaque in two. It's blue Hawaiian not Hurricane, I don't know what I'm talking about, um, by um, Glisten and Glow. And the last polish for the month was actually the first one that I wore from the month. And this is VIP, not me, by 9-0. And this was the Road to Polish Con New York. I love this. I've already said to Jess I need this in every single colour. This is a metallic holographic. Um, so this is a metallic pink hollow. It was so unique and so different. Um, I don't think I've seen any other brands that I can think of do metallic hollows. I may be wrong, but just to me, this is the first one that I'd seen, and I've said to her, please just do this in other colours, because I loved it. Completely opaque in two. This one is VIP, not me, by 90 Lacquer. I have two empties for the month. The first one is the 90 um, No Time to Waste top coat. I really like this one, although I felt like I went through it very fast. Um, it's just a very nice, um, super shiny, fast drying top coat. I wouldn't say it was too much different than the Rimmel one that I used. So if you're in the UK, I wouldn't say go out and buy this specially. Just use the Rimmel Hypergel top coat. But it is a good one if you are looking for a fast drying top coat. The other thing I'm throwing away, this is the top coat that I've had for a really long time. I've used about half of it and it was by the brand The Edge and it's their five star top coat. This dries so slowly, I cannot even cope with it and that for that reason I'm not going to try and force myself to use this anymore. It's going. So bye bye. The few exciting things that I just wanted to say at the end of this video for this month is thank you so much to everybody because we are edging very quickly towards 4,000 subscribers on this channel and it's just amazing. I appreciate every single one of you, almost 4,000. It means so much. And I will be doing a giveaway and I'm going to do kind of like a two part giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway for like international people and I'm going to do a UK giveaway. So details of that will follow when I hit the big 4K number. The other exciting thing that we did this month is I hit 300,000 collective views on my channel, which is amazing. When you say something like that, 300,000 views, that is a ridiculously large amount of views. So again, thank you to everybody that's watched one of my videos or all of my videos. Those views really rack up and 300,000 is crazy. So, so much love sending it to all of you for the end of this summer. I hope you've had a great summer and I will be back with you in September for a lot of new exciting videos. I'm really excited for what's coming up. Bye and thank you again. Bye, 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 bye.